All right. Got it. Hello. All right. We are working. Yay, I'm so happy. <laughs> Well, at long last, we're back. We took a month off, and now we're back. Welcome, everybody, and today's healing event. Today is September 14th, 2024, and we are here to teach love. Um, this is my husband, Rick, and I am Deb, and uh, we are back at you. I think most of you know who we are. Um, uh, our website is healteachlove.org if you want to know more information about us. But Rick and I have been doing this for about six or seven, or eight years about. Um, Rick's energy comes from source, creator, God. Um, I get the downloaded information once he scans you of what's going on within your body. And then the healing energy comes to you. We see you. I can see your past, uh, where you where you've been and who you've been, and uh, we can channel energy to you. And uh, we've been working with Philip for about four years now, going on five, I think, three or four. Um, and I'll let Philip take it from here. Yeah, just to let you know, at the beginning, I'll use me sound healing to clear the space. Okay. But uh, yeah, I've been healing since I was four. Uh, it's regular uh, uh, other events happen to me other other experiences and it's all part of the journey uh, re this year i've connected to uh, the emerald order that i was signed here for to heal earth and rescue the lost uh, soul trap uh, i've also connected with emerald dragons and i do a lot of warrior work and alien removal and demonic removal but healing is uh, my passion i've probably done it every day this week so, and I injured my ankle, me hip last night, and I still did a revalidation judo this morning. So injuries can be uh, sorted quite quickly. So uh, is my sound very low? Can you sound low for everyone? Yeah. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a hard time, but I That's don't good. have my ear. You're not yet. listening to me. <laughs> Let's just have a look. Uh, it's me some. Is that better? No? Same. Same. Is that better? Not no. much. Sorry, I gotta get my earbuds all untangled. Uh, well, I gotta really do this. Yeah. Was it okay last night, Deb? Yeah. Yeah. The same thing. I think you're just um you're talking really soft today for some reason. Normally you're oh, talking. Sorry. Are you tired? No. Hmm. I'm never tired. <laughs> can, can you actually hear it? Because if it's if it's taking all now off, we can then... hear you now. You're you're coming across a lot lot stronger than you were. I'll just put the yeah. lead in and out. <laughs> That's Zoom for you. Uh yeah, I've been healing since uh, I was four. I'm credited. I'm I'm accredited healer. I'm also a Reiki practitioner. I do healing once a week at uh, uh, a community centre. I also do uh, Reiki healing at a, a festival sort of thing on a Thursday, and it's great. You learn lots of things. So I'll do. I'll try and do my cards on the five minute ones, but they'll be rapid. So I'll do them for you. Okay. So uh, I'll I'll start the the evening bowl. So if everyone close their eyes. It's uh, from Nepal. Uh, let us know if you can hear it, by the way.
starting now. I use a lot of tools, by the way. So you'll see all. Before we carry on, I use this. This is a shamanic like instrument. Get rid of the dark stuff. And my crystal bowl, which gets some good. So there you go. I'll be to you, Deb. Or Lily. Lily. Okay, we will start with Linda. Hi, thank you. Hi. Hi, Linda. Hello. Lovely to see you all again. What's going on with your neck, Linda? Um... Yeah, my neck, it's mostly in my shoulders and yeah. It's in the, the, your spine at the top of your neck. Yeah. There's actually something there. You know, when I was in high school, there was a bunch of friends threw me in a snowbank and I landed. No, that was even before. I couldn't move for days. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I think it's um the person that's there. Linda, you've got a Linda there. Linda's been there about a month. And what's she doing? She died. She had a brain aneurysm. Didn't know where to go. So how you tag along? Hmm. She seemed said she seemed like a nice person, so I just thought I'd join her. It's actually quite young. Hmm. about a month did she die a month ago or hmm. she wandered for a bit she died uh three months ago yeah. i actually said three months. huh you did i actually said three months i went like that when you, when you said how many months before you said it he said three i said three before you yeah. said it on me on me and sigma She's um she's crying. She's a little afraid. It's an attachment. Beautiful energy. Yeah. I think it's an attachment. And, and that emerald, emerald energy that you're sending is so nice, Phil. Mm. I think she's missing a loved one. Uh, what? That's why she's attached to her, because she, she's a loved mm. one. She don't want to let go. Mm. Yeah.
I'm feeling like I want to cry. I know she was very um. She was really emotional, but she's ready. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. I think a, a grandmother from the other side. Is uh, helping us. Bill, you're gonna have to speak up a little. The grandma on the other side. Can you hear that? Yeah. It's better now. I'll, I'll just speak out loud. The grandmother on the other side helping us. Your grandmother. My hers. grandmother. Her, no, hers. Her grandmother. Hers. Yeah. Yeah. Helping her to cross over. She's ready now. Um. You'll feel you'll feel a release. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hmm. I'm just eating your stomach, I don't know why. It seems a bit worried. I don't know. I'm just eating your stomach, I don't know why. Okay. Can you feel that? I'm feeling a lot. Yeah. 
yeah, just uh, not sure what. Oh, the, the emotion. Yeah, she was very emotional. Yeah, I don't feel like, yeah, the crime come anymore. Yeah. I think you've got some energy in your chest from it that's not wanted. I think it's, it's, I think she brought some, a bit of negative energy that she didn't mean to. And uh, we'll just need clearing it, I think. Yeah. That's all I'm getting in there. Yeah, a bit of anger there for, that, for, for leaving. For leaving the dying. Yeah, I know I've been feeling some yeah. anger stuff. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Some sense of sense of energy in there. Make it yeah. Ah. Uh, Flow like a big animal. Mm. Oh. Oh. How do you feel? Oh, I feel you... I feel better. I feel I feel like laughing. I'm just thinking about how hilarious I am. <laughs> <laughs> what the cards are saying. Uh, more fun on your journey. Yeah, more fun. Mm -hmm. Be a rebel. Set an intention, a goal. Yeah. If you set an intention, a goal. That basically means that your you goal is celebrating because your intentions have worked. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's not something I've been good at, my, like, like setting goals. And... Yeah, I'd set a goal. Uh, well, it looks like it will work. work. Not, not my win the lottery goal. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which one day will come up. <laughs> is there anything else, Dad? How long is that? Well, my feet. Hmm? How about my feet? The tingle, tingling, and numbness that a lot of times that is ground comes and goes. It could do with taking your shoes off now and again. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, I'm a flip flops girl, and I'm to the bitter end, and it's it's like now I haven't got shoes on. I'm barefoot because it's the best yeah. way to connect with it. Yeah, I often go out walking in the wet grass or, you know, whatever. Yeah, I'll send some healing to your feet, or we will. Okay. Can you hear me, Deb, by the way? Pardon me? Can Deb hear me? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel that on your feet? Mm. I think 
think so. Mm. Oh. The foot stuff has been going on for quite some time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Right. Anything else, Deb or Linda? Mm. Deb, anything else? Okay. No. Nope. Well, I want to say I don't even know who my guides are. I'm not even feeling that much connected or. Well, you are connected. You're not. I know. You're not connected, but you have a Michael and a Leslie, and a those are two of your guides. You have a a Millie, Millicent, but Millie, and a a Joe. Hmm. Um. His name is Jova, but it's very interesting name, Jova, but his name, he said, just call me Joe. But those are your guides. Your angels, did, we give you your, did I ever give you your angels' names? I don't think so. You have a Paula and a Larry and a... A Philip, he said, not the same one. <laughs> not, not, not the one. Not the one. He said, I'm he, said he said, I'm a better one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Paula, Larry. Philip. Philip. Paris. It's a woman or female. C A R Y S. C A R Y S. C is C is in cat a r y s. She's spelling it for me because I was like, "What?" <laughs> I've never heard of such angel names. I do, they said, yeah. "Why? Why have you not heard of these angel names?" We were people too once. There's a place called Angel School. Yeah, you know, we were <laughs> we were humans at one point, and we came to Angel School. Some of us kept our names. Wow. I'm I'm learning a lot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one of our friends uh died seven years ago. It, 12 years. Oh my god, it's 12 years already. And he's actually in angel school right now. He graduated. Did he graduate? Yeah. Oh, yeah. he graduated. <laughs> There's no time on the other side. Um mm. You've connected to the elementals in some way. I'm not sure how. Yeah. Yeah. You were in elementals in one. Yeah. I, yeah. Fairy. Yes, you were a fairy. And some of these I'm... people are your friends. You 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 know them. Yeah. Some of your guides and angels. You chose you know, them. I was actually going to say a fairy. I didn't know. Yeah, a couple hmm. of fairies around me. You got one named Twyla. She said you are very close, the two of you. Interesting name because we knew some we know somebody in this life named Twyla. And yeah. she's quite she's quite annoying. <laughs> <laughs> she, oh man. <laughs> it's an unusual name, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Okay. Go ahead, Lily. Thank you very much, Linda. We will Thank go next. You all. We will yeah. go next to PJ. Uh, by the way, Lily, uh, when you pay, send a payment to us. Yep. Okay. PJ. Yeah. Hi. Send a payment, Wendy. Ah, uh, yeah, Wendy. Yeah. Yeah, she wrote. Okay. Okay, now PJ. Hi there. Hi. Hi. I know you. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm glad you remember. <laughs> I did. Well, the, the battle goes on. Mm. And uh, I've been working a lot on um, Celtic witchcraft that I discovered and removing satanic demons. So could you just see if my work has been successful, if that's clear? Can I... I'll give you a card, that's done cards are very good. Mm. It does look like you're doing a lot of good work by the, by the cards. What? The cards, the first one is New Beginnings, so you are doing well. New Beginning? Yeah, New Beginnings. You've got your, your, your support team are helping you. What? Uh, your support team is helping you. Okay. And you are getting divine guidance. So a Good. lot of your information you're, you, you're actually using is from an eye. I see a lot of light around you, a lot. Yeah. Well, I've learned how to invoke the divine warring, warring angels to... Yeah, that's that one, divine guidance. Yeah, yeah definitely. The warring angels to um, enforce the laws of... Uh, what's it called? non um universal law yeah universal law of, of non you know like interventions yeah exactly. so i i also my brain was attacked with a with a do directed energy weapon on 8 18 at 5 a.m very very painful and um i believe So I've asked the divine warring angels to block um, the targeting that's coming from the Seattle Fusion Center and to surround me and optimize my shielding to and encrypt it to block this targeting. But I can still feel this pulsing in my head, you know, from the targeting. Especially when I sit right here, they, you know, they've got my biometrics and, you know, they know exactly where I spend most of my time and when I'm where, where, when I am, where I am, um, is all set up on their AI. And there's something else, but do you want me to wait there? Yeah, hold on a second. Oh, there's twitching at my perineum and in my legs. This is all technology or um, they've got me all wired up like a cyborg. The Christmas tree. I thought we removed all the implants. Right, the new ones. <laughs> did have a lot of layers there. You said layer? You had a lot of layers last time. I did, we did say it wasn't, it's going to be a long run. But you're doing a lot of good work anyway. We have to remove, remove the stuff that's in the house. There may be, not be implants. Maybe, you know, after we, if, if she's got new implants, we need to remove those. But there may be some around her. Surveillance technology. Yeah. In uh, inside the house. Can Bob sweep the house? Yeah. Oh, Doman. Doman, yeah. yeah. What? Doman?
So when you feel something on this side, do you feel it inside your head or outside? Uh, right here. In the back. Okay. Do you feel it outside or inside? Outside. Only in one spot where you're sitting or is it all over? It, it, you could be anywhere. Well, mostly I notice it when I'm sitting here because this is where I do my meditation and clearing work and Are you always sitting in the same chair? Yeah. Is there carpeting underneath you? Yeah, I have a grounding mat under my feet. Is there carpeting underneath the grounding mat? Yeah, yeah. Is there a basement underneath you? Yes. There's a portal. There's a portal in my grounding cord, first chakra. No, there's a portal underneath the basement that comes up. So, like ley That's lines. Hard. Is it? Is it interfering with my grounding cord and the ley lines? Yeah, the link to the chair as well, Deb. Huh? I think it's something to do with your chair and the portal. It's like they, they link to yeah. them together. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Another thing I've never met before. They're just clearing your chair. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yes. <laughs> This portal goes like this it's, a, it's like a tunnel and it goes goes that way and there's a ship it's linked to the ship isn't it hmm Things linked to the ship. A... Link to the ship. There's a link to a ship. Yeah. yeah, definitely a ship. Don't think it's a boat. <laughs> it's not a light ship. It's a. Sh it's a ship. Draco ship. Hmm? Draco ship. It's has them on there, but it's 
we've each got a few different beings on it, it's an oblong one. Um, we're just negotiating, we're basically giving, giving them a warning. Go, or, or we get baffled. I've got a call in some of the galactic fields. It has dark humans on it too. Interesting. Um, as a child, I was sold to the Dracos um, through the Mormon church. But I've broken all those contracts. <laughs> Not going. What does that feel? They're not going yet. <laughs> okay. I'll call in the some of our ship. I'll call in the Andromeda. That's the fellow. Could take him over and might as well have more, but I will soon have it. And I've got a ship we haven't. I might feel this energy by the way. Ship's gone. Two, it became two, and we got a bit of a, a bit of damage, and they've done a bit, so we've gone. Basically. Ship's gone. So that's good. Great. Um, I feel that that's better on my head too. Yeah, good. So now we've got to clear. The port is probably closed, but let's, let's just. No, it's not. So. <laughs> right. Again, While you were doing it, mm -hmm. while you're doing done, that. there's a big battle going on. <laughs> a big battle over me. <laughs> yeah, over you. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> we had three, we had four ships. No, I called in the uh, Pradians and the Andromedan. And, Kraken. Uh, uh, hmm? The Kraken. No, the Andromedans and the uh, Pradians. Oh. Two each, and they had two, and we did a bit of firing, and they just then left. I think they must have had a connection to you, a link, and by them leaving, the frequency link has got it broke. So we've got to set, put a upgrade your auric field to stop them doing that again. Cleanse the the sea's been cleansed. Close the portal. That should have been. anything else, Deb? I think we're all right. Okay. Yeah, you don't feel being upgraded with the uh, emerald energy of the divine. You feel it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, I think a download's coming in from the Emerald Order. Enjoy. <laughs> Don't worry, it's probably an ascension download. Get a totally job.
Right. Oh, it's been closed. Should Thank give you. Us, should we give us some healing, Deb? Yeah. Okay, you have given the card already. She already has a card now. Yeah, I've done the cards. Okay. I've lost one. I think, <laughs> I I think she has it. Like she's yeah. died dead on so. That's a okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, PJ. We will go to the next one. Thank you. Thank you, PJ. We go to the next one. Teresa Francisca. Francisco. Hi. Hi. What can we help you with today? Um, well, the first thing is I have this like psoriasis that covers my entire body. It's been there for about 20 some years and I've been trying to get rid of it. And that's a big issue. I think it goes to past life maybe. And I'm trying to um, uh, clear that up. Okay. Which past life do you think it is? What past life do you think it is? I think it, I, uh, and I get an image of, of burning. So maybe it was witch. burned in a fire. Burned as a witch. Salem, which do you, <laughs> you were in Salem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think you already know that. <laughs> Salem, Massachusetts. Actually, your name's on one of the lists uh, on your posted. Really? Yes. If you ever go to Salem, Massachusetts, you would walk up there and know which one you were. Yeah, I wasn't very comfortable when I was there, was not happy to be there. <laughs> but um, I Actually, will look. You were, you were one of the few men. Interesting. Yeah. Um, there's one other past life that this is from. I wonder why it's uh, why you've got that sciatic. You were in the Great Fire of London. I think if we send energy Deb, into uh, veins, and uh, you know, I think it might go into that sciatic. But why why has she got trauma from that life as a sciatic? Reaction. That's what I don't get. Mm. All right. I've been told to go to your timeline, go to that era, and cleanse it, basically. Cleanse the timeline. Mm. Because of clothing that stuck to the skin mm -hmm. the material the memory the material and and the way it was sticking to her skin all she could does she just remembers what it felt like sticking to her skin that trauma in both fires i'm not, i'm actually seeing saving though it's like a TV video. Oh, disgusting. The melting of the of the clothing on her skin and adhering to it before she actually perished from the smoke. But the burning feeling on her skin of the clothing. Because he wore her such heavy clothes in the material and the melting of it. And the boots and the you know the heavy clothes and the boat boots and the in both places, in London, the Great Fire, everything was made out of wood.
when when you were a woman and women's dresses were so big then okay so you're a man in one and woman can you feel me energy yes very light what me and Deb and Rick are doing, we're healing it. The memory is going, but you've still got the memory in each cell of your body. So we, we're trying to remove the memory of uh, the two uh, past lives. So now we're releasing it. We release it. Going back to the timelines. We're healing that memory. It's like erasing it from happening. So then your skin's gonna heal. We're replacing the memory with, with, it, with love energy, with heart chakra, energy, green emerald. The two past lives have been uh, healed, and we've also uh, brought back the soul fragments to your older soul. It's because you felt loneliness as well, both lives. You feel it clearing? I didn't hear you. Do you feel it clearing? Yes. Yes, I do. Should feel a lot better now. By the way, your cards are uh, blessings. So you get ex extra blessings off your angels. Wow. Right, you get manifestations. Uh, your manifestations can be, you're actually losing some old friends and gaining new ones. They've got your ideology, sort of thing. <laughs> Is that aspect? I think we all do in that moment. How does how does right. how does your body feel? Is it better now? I'm feeling good. I felt some pressure in my chest, but it's better now. I can yeah. breathe again. <laughs> you can I think I was maybe holding my breath. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that receives a healing today, so I don't forget to tell you guys: drink a lot of water, bless your water, picture a love in the water. Um, because this healing lasts seven days. It continues on and just continues. So tomorrow, tomorrow you'll feel even better than you did today. And the next day, even better. Because uh, our this healing that we give you just continues and just continues. So just expect all that. Um, Very grateful. I, I was trying to do some work with the, each cell, 
you know, because like you said, you released it from the cell, but couldn't quite put it together. So <laughs> I'm grateful. We have um, a lot. Of, we have a lot of cells in the body. <laughs> There's a it's lot hard. Of it. It's hard for us to heal ourselves. We we call Phil. <laughs> Do I have any um inf any messages from my guides? Trust your messages. And we're always with you. There's never a separation, never no matter what feelings it get that you feel in your head, if you get back into your heart, you always, you know, you'll always get the messages. Our egos get in the way sometimes and talk us out of this. So right. we always have to remember to stay here. And and anytime that we channel all the time, we all channel, everybody does. But we're always talking ourselves out of it because we're stuck in here. The messages come through in our own voice, but they come through the heart, not through the head. So we're, we're constantly getting messages from them and we don't listen. We don't trust. They talk to us all the time. Even if it's something, a, a song on the radio that comes on and it triggers a memory, that's them. That It could be our mothers and fathers that we've lost. They'll, they'll, they'll flip a song right on that will, it'll think, we'll think, oh my God, that reminds me of my dad, or that reminds me of my mom or my sister or my brother. They, they, they will trick a memory just to do that for us. Trust all those. They, that there's a reason that song is playing on the radio. There's a reason that commercial came on at a specific time that, to remind us of, oh, I was supposed to do this or I was supposed to do that. Your angels are doing that for you, or your guides are doing that for you. There's always yeah, I, I always feel them around me very strongly. You know, yeah. I just Did, maybe there was something yeah. I wasn't hearing. <laughs> Probably. I, I, I asked the cards to connect, who should connect to you. And I don't, I'm not sure if you've heard of this archangel. It's called Michael. <laughs> I'm not yes. quite sure who he is. <laughs> yeah. So Michael, Michael wants to connect with me. Yes, Archangel Michael. Do you know on your left is a little glow of light yes. going on a diagonal and going across, and it looks quite nice. Michael is <laughs> always with me, and he talks to me all the time. And he yells at me sometimes. <laughs> when i don't listen because we have that type of relationship believe me we do we've had a i feel i feel he protects me you know like if i feel there's an you know bad energy or whatever i feel his presence right away so and i'm grateful for that yes he's there he's definitely there it's but helpful um, is there my my brother? I lives with me, and I take care of him. And he has um, advanced cancer. And I was wondering if there was any message for him. His name is Ted Torres. Maybe what for treat, my parents. What treatment is he on? Um, right now, he's not doing any chemo, but he has bone marrow cancer. He's in his late stages he's had it for 14 years um they they may start him on some experimental chemo but right now he's just up his strength again he's been through a lot yeah, i'm not a doctor but there is people who say uh the uh, parasite removal is pretty good for cancers but hmm. i'm just saying research it yeah, and uh, Morig Mar Moringa is pretty good. Is that supposed to be anti-tumor, allegedly? Right, well, I heard you I'm talking not... about that, Moringa, the other day. Yeah. But I, I'll, I'll send you a message and then it's your choice. I've got to watch what I say because this ends up on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, because of um, uh, YouTube. Right. Right, I get that. There's a lot of uh, information out there that's really good. But I want to let you know that your brother is angelic. Some things we ask to experience for right. because he is an angelic. Um, it's hard to tell people this, but, you know, we, we do ask for some things, some of these illnesses as an experience. Right, it doesn't, I understand. It doesn't mean that we like it. Um, our 
Archangel Michael is saying, um, no matter what, your brother's going to be great because he's going to transition right into back to being an angel. He's uh, he's very strong. If you want to send a picture. No, I'm not getting emotional. <laughs> but he is, yes. He's a very strong man. If you want to send an image, I can send him some healing. The only thing with healing, sometimes it's more of a blessing. So. Oh, thank you. It'll, it'll, it'll either help him one way or the other. Just warn you on that. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just, it's hard to watch him suffer. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Anyway, any any messages for my two children? I have a son named Philip, <laughs> well, and I have that? one named Joe. Yeah, Philip, is friend. he a troublemaker? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the older one's wild, and the younger one's quiet. My youngest son has fairies around him all the time. I see them all the time. Not that he, he connects with them, but he's twenty-four. He, Joe. They were, they were testing me for brain damage when I was a child. And in the end, they came up that I'm just a rebellious uh, piece of work. <laughs> I will not do what people tell me to. I mean, mum and dad had that all their life. <laughs> Archangel Michael said your son that has the fairies around him absolutely raises the, the vibration of the planet. Oh, that's wonderful. So, My oldest one, Philip, he, he's been through a lot too. His wife recently um, uh, shot herself and um, has caused him a lot of trauma. But um, I think he's balancing. He's, Archangel Michael said, you don't have to worry about him. He'll be fine. Um, he's working through all this. And he's, sometimes you have to let that, let them find their way. Right. But he'll be fine. Yeah, he is. He's he's his doing heart, a lot. His heart is in the right place. We all have to get out of our heads. Yeah, we torture ourselves overthinking things and always blaming ourselves for things. And he exactly. has to That's stop blaming. Thing. <laughs> yeah, he has to stop blaming himself too because it's not him. Right. Okay, I didn't yeah, expect yeah. to have all this emotion today. <laughs> yeah. he, he's also got to forgive her for doing this. Yeah, yeah. forgive this, her. She has to, be... He has to forgive her too, because yeah. it's not him. It was, and she had obviously she has she had issues. Yes, she did. But that was that was her journey, not his. We all have our own personal journey, and that was her personal journey. She had to work through. It wasn't his. So he's got to re he's got to release that and forgive her. Well, I'm going to see him in a couple of weeks and I'll talk to him some more. But I think he's come along around quite a bit. So, oh, okay. he's be thank you very much. Thank you very much, Teresa. Thank you. Thank you. We are going to the next one, Wendy. Moment. Hello, Wendy. Wendy, come out. <laughs> come out. <laughs> <I know>. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Feeling good. Feeling good. What's going on? Um. Well, primarily, I'm having a lot of uh, issues with my back. And um, I recently went on a retreat and I was doing a lot of healing work there. And so I don't know if it's just accumulation of that or if there's something else going on. And then uh, my right knee is, I don't know, it's getting wonky every now and then. It's, it's, it feels like it'll have a problem and then I to send healing to it. And then it's like it goes away and then it comes back. So I wonder if there's like somebody or something traveling around in me. <laughs> implants or something along those lines but you got a big spider on your butt. Well, yeah, it's, a spider. it's actually a beetle that were burned 
huge beetle on your back. On my back, yeah. And you know, I had a dream maybe two weeks ago about these three spiders, and I didn't know if they. Um, well, the, I don't know if they were. I don't know what they were doing. Those are, those are in your knee. Those are my knee. Okay. So you have um, spiritual parasites. Yeah. Do you want to keep them? Uh, no. <laughs> Thank you very much. No. <laughs> Could I name them? <laughs> well, the, one your back, the one in your back, you could saddle it and ride it. It's yeah, I, I can't even tell you how I'm just like, ah, it's been, yeah, it's been maybe over a month. I don't know where I picked that guy up from. If you do a lot of healing. She's freezing. Up. Oh, there, you're, you're back. Oh, okay. It, it happens to all of us. Yeah. Now I'm freezing. So oh. you're back. <laughs> Which one first, the knee or the back? Mm. At the back, please. <laughs> <laughs> Might warn the other ones. Oh. So tell us if any, any reaction to these, because sometimes they start retaliating or start trying to hide. Yeah. But the one at the back, the one at the back can't. It's too big to hide. Yeah, it's uh, trying to take it. Out your energy. Yeah, he, yeah. I, and I feel him right now on the left side of my back, pretty strong. Kind of like he's like, don't make me go. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are together. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder, was, was he also the one shifting my Kundalini energy? Because I kept feeling this wave like horizontal in my left shoulder yeah kind of across my back surprised it anytime he shifted you would feel it oh i've been i've been feeling it on my back for i can't tell you how long and i just i just didn't know how to get rid of the damn thing i've been working with violet flame Prism fire, dragons, yeah. You can work with uh, your Kundalini. Yeah, Use my your Kundalini and, and uh, uh, eat to get rid of it, basically. Burn it out. Uh, but you might shake up. a lot. You could shake a lot with yeah, you open your Kundalini. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had that experience. Well, that does. If you open your Kundalini and you shake it, the Kundalini heals your karma and your trauma from past lives. Gotcha. I'm feeling that energy starting to sweat. <laughs> do, do you know, my dog always likes the right words. He wants to go out. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. You'll sweat more, don't worry. The, the crystal balls connected to, to you now. So it should be drawing out negative. The, the beetle's still there, by the way. Yeah, I, but I feel the energy moving in my uh, my right leg. I think the spiders know they're next. <laughs> oh. Oh, Bill's puppy in the room. <laughs> so hot right now. Sorry, I'm getting out in the sun, but the wind is out here. Sorry about that. No, nah, it's okay. It gave me a minute to like 
get some wind. <laughs> yeah, by the way, my pants and my judo pants because I've been doing re judo revalidation before. Ah. So, is it I... just one, one knee? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been only my knee on the right. Could be my, could, again, once I start to work with it, it seems like it maybe shifts. Um, I think it's been up in my sciatic a couple times. Yeah, it's trouble to your nervous system, spiritual parasites do that. Yeah. And my... trying to shift in one end, they do a runner. Yep. Should feel warm. Well, yeah. If you want to heal parasites in your body, meditate and get your temperature to 110 for five minutes. Ah. It'll come out in blobs of sweat, but it does get rid of them all. I wouldn't recommend that on everyone, but I think you'd be able to do that with me. Yeah, I think, um, I think that's probably why I like to get in the hot tub. I can't be in there very long, but I like to yeah. get in the hot tub whenever I'm out here at the water. But of course, I mean, season's ending. We're pulling the boat out next next month. So, yeah. and then I, one time when I was on the water, I heard somebody say something like, something like, can you help me or something? And I was like, what? And I was like, well, come here and talk to me so I can like hear what you're saying. And then I felt a, like an attachment or something happened. So I don't know if I picked up and sent away whoever that was because it's almost like it grabbed me you know and i was like damn it what did i invite it in closer into my art field for but you know when you're on the water you have so many people who have drowned and so i thought well maybe they're like they're like oh hey there's a light Yep, it's all right along my spine. You know, that's the second time now that I think of it, a giant bug was on me. Last time it was a giant moth. That one I saw. That was a year ago. He was just attracted. Mm -hmm. Fourth, <laughs> he's fourth dimensional, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what these giant bugs in the 4D. <laughs> And you know what's crazy is I do a nightly cleanse and daily and sometimes, well, I'd say mid-afternoon. Do, do you ever use dragon's breath? Dragon fire? Dragon's breath. 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 Um, you know. Channel I, your dragon. Okay. How we merge with them and you can blow dragon's breath okay and it's good for building up your art field all right very powerful but when you do an healing you can blow back dragon's breath you know i wonder 
I wonder if, because I've noticed that there will be days where I feel like almost all day long, I'll be doing these yawnings. And sometimes I'm thinking I'm just clearing energy and I'm like, what is happening? Because I'll just be like, all of a sudden I'll be like, oh, like, like for no reason. And I'm wondering if the dragons are kind of like trying to tell me and I just haven't been listening to them because it's, it'll be like while I'm at work and I'm thinking, oh, I'm like exasperated from whatever's going on at work, but it's not usually at work. It's not that, it's not that kind of stress, you know? So I'm like, what the heck? You know, the first time I used Dragon Breath, they, they showed me how I used it on Atlantis in the temple. <laughs> yeah, she showed oh. me. Oh. And it's, it's like a ball of red, like red flame, but it's not hot. It's, but it's good to to repair bones and everything. It needs a lot of power. Yeah. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. It's like lava. Um, I don't know if it was last night or the night before I was doing astral work and I don't know if I'm shutting down my third eye vision, but it's, it's way stronger than it used to be. But in astral, I really see things really clearly, very, and very memorable. I remember my astral dreams way more or travel way more than almost my day-to-day -day life. And, but the two nights ago I was looking and it was like, um, it's like I was looking at this city and then all of a sudden it was like this. And I can't tell if it was a fire flame or if it was like a volcano explosion. And then all of a sudden it's like, like, like something got put in front of my vision. And I was like, what, what was that? So. How are you feeling with your friends? Are they gone? Yeah, my friends. Uh, there's something still on the left side of my spine, middle back. But do you it see he be, might be residue? The, the, I was going to say it's it's entirely possible that it's um yeah might be damaged actually. It's it's like a pinch nerve. Yeah, it's it's probably from it. It's probably the yeah. aftermath of it. Pinched you before it went and died. What a brat. Ugh. I'll tell you what I use sometimes. It's, my son got me this. And I put it on my third eye. And it like clears the remote viewing. It's amazing. Oh. Yeah. What, what crystal is that? I don't know. Got, like, <laughs> a pyramid? Crossing. Oh, I've got, yeah, I've got pyramid. my pyramids. That I have, with, I have a couple a, of them with... Um... With a round ball. But it cleared it so much. I, it's amazing. It was like watching... Uh, TV with a bad aerial, and all of a sudden the aerial comes up. <laughs> you see it clear. <laughs> right, let's see. Let's get rid of this residue. Yeah, and I actually, I actually had a dream where I could feel like a cheesecloth over me, and I was like, "Get it off! Get it off!" I was trying to remove it. Feel it going off. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's actually dissipating. Yeah, I'm asking Kelly Ma to help me. Kelly. Oh my God, I love Kelly Ma. Yeah, and while I was waiting, I felt this like tingling happening on my right side of my head. So and of course I was feeling everybody's energy. So I'm sure I was I'm sure I was assisting with throw some energy out there well, too. When me, Deborah, send in energy, we send it to everyone in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very hard to concentrate and direct it to one place. Yeah. Got that song. It's beautiful. Da, da. I don't know the words, but that it's beautiful sticking in my head. <laughs> uh, 
that feels okay now. Yeah. Hey, your cards, by the way. New beginnings. Find some. I think you need to. I think you already are. You're thinking of some another project. There you go. Forgiveness. No, we do. Forgiveness. And uh, focus. Focus on this new project you're thinking about doing. Yeah, yeah I've, I've, I've. It's started. It's in, not in the works, but I'm building it right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> very good thank you thank you very much yeah, yeah is it all gone by the way huh yeah i'm just checking with every, everything yeah the they're gone sometimes i miss stuff they're gone uh sent healing it's all done it, drink a lot the, of water oh yeah that was a lot of work i started drinking water beforehand i'm like i need to be watered up i haven't eaten anything today i'm like water and coconut water <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I've, I've got I've got I've got a water purifier now. Yeah. I, <laughs> All I, right. I, I tell you, I tell everyone this moringa it gives you about thirty percent more energy. It's brilliant. Oh, it really, is. really is. It really does. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm gonna go get one of those. Yeah, what about the uh, the velvet? Seems to be on and off. On your third eye. Yeah, because I know it's open. Well, again, you've had a lot of parasites on you and everything, and it's probably your inbuilt switch turning it off in case you, that gets infiltrated. I bet it's all got it. the parasites you've got. Yeah, Yeah, because I don't see any problem with it now. Okay. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> okay, thank you all right, very thank much, you guys. Wendy. Thank awesome. you, Lily. Thank, thank you, Deb. Thank you, Phil. Thank and you. thank you, Mr. Hiding in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Hugs and kisses. Bye. Too. Take care. Okay. We are going next to Victoria. Victoria is asking um over where is it? Um there. Uh, are we still on the 15 minute? Yeah. 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 And Victoria is asking um, the guidance uh, here, here. I would like to ask for a guidance with who that Egyptian Peru higher aspect is coming through because who is coming through because recently so many are. She's asking for that who is that Egyptian Peru higher aspect of her. That's it's reptilian hybrid aspect or draconian of royal house. And if there is still time, she's asking for a scan for negative energies. Energies. Victoria, you're on the five minute one. It should it say it's five minutes on your chat. Is that correct? No, I have to to start. Okay. No. I actually have a timer. She can't, she can't hear, can she? <laughs> I yeah, actually I have a timer. I, I think it's five minutes, says Victoria. Five minutes? Yeah, it says on the chat of 1921. Uh, if, I, if there's any time, yeah, if there is five, yeah, is it, yeah, if there is time, okay. I'll do the cards while I'm trying, my team are trying to work out. Mm. Yeah, uh, you got romance going, you got a new friend, <laughs> new friend. Bit of romance. Manifest some of, some of your vibration. There you go. She has, an Egyptian, she has an Egyptian pharaoh guide. She wants to know who he is. There you go. Three gray aliens appeared. 
Oh, yeah, those are the ones that keep, they're trying to observe you. Those are the observers. They're neutral, so you don't have to worry about them. Um, but you want to know who the Egyptian one is. God, who is he? Because did the Egyptian, was the Egyptian inside? Did he come in or was he on the outside? Victoria, the Egyptian, did he actually come into your personal space that you're talking about? Yes, he came in or no? No, this answer, yes, no. The Egyptian um, that you saw, did he come in? He only see him in vision. She, can you not, can you hear at all? Yeah, she can hear. Comes up if, uh, by answering. Yeah, Comes up. past life. Wait, so yes. Yes, yes, yes is that. Yes. All right, let me see if I can type a message to her because she's way behind or something. Victoria. The Egyptian. Did he enter your space? I don't know if he entered, but I've been seeing in a vision reptilian hybrid arrow looking not just one, different stages. I have embodied different one. Okay, this is all static, so you're not... Is it playing like a movie when you see this? Is it playing like a movie? Yes. Okay. She sees pictures and images, events. Yeah. So does Rick. So, Rick does too. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand them either. <laughs> we don't know either we don't know why they're playing we don't know why their visions are coming he tried to one, one stood in front of him he asked him who he was why are you here and he didn't, he didn't respond he just disappeared we don't know so if we're not getting the messages we obviously eventually they'll respond Right now, we don't know why they're coming and why they're showing us pictures. Well, I'm getting, Deb, I'm getting you have a uh, aspect trying to connect. Probably the Pharaoh, I'm not 100%, but you've also got a trickster trying to stop it, the connection. Okay, There's a trickster trying to stop it. Yeah, that's what I thought last night. You For him yeah. or for her? For her. Is that for Rick as well? I haven't did. <laughs> no, I felt the same. Yeah. Just use dragon breath. Get rid of the trickster. Yeah. Well, he's got a dragon, so all you have to do is partially merge with him and blow dragon's breath on him, and then yeah. he'll be dragon. gone. Yeah. 
and I'm not. So we're fine. Yeah. I mean, I know that I know that the grays are there to observe you and they're they're actually neutral because I felt their energy. They're not going to harm you. They're, they're really curious about you. <laughs> if you see different ones, though, then I would be concerned. Yeah, that, most grays are like that. <laughs> yeah. OK, now she's asking for uh, a scan for negative energies. Your energies are good. Keep your vibration up. You can't you can't control your father. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Keep your heart. Yeah, I'm sending you so much love. I'm sending you so much love. I understand. You got too much to do to worry about that. The energy feels okay. Feels good. Yeah. You look good. You look really good. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> so perfect, Victoria. Uh, You're Victoria, doing you look really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we are finished with Victoria. We're done. Thank you, Victoria. Victory. So we go to the next one, the Thank Maria. You. Are these all five minute ones now? Is everyone? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Everyone, everyone except for Jillian at the end. Mm, you know, it's, it's, yeah. Is Maria the. Is Maria. Your daughter, your daughter. Oh. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Maria. Hi. Me, uh, me, so... me, and me and Deborah got your photos of your daughter. So. Mm hmm. You don't have to put it on here. Okay. Oh yeah, it's it's a little the little girl. Yeah, she's eleven and she has had an eye infection in her left eye for one and a half months, and Phil has been working with her, but it it, it can be good for a lot of days and then it gets worse again. So it's more or less red. It clears and then comes back there. Mm. Right. Okay, we've got. I've got a picture up in front of us here. Today it's uh, almost gone, but yesterday it was worse. So. Is it the right eye? No, the left. Okay. Um, the odd thing is, um, Phil, there's something in her right eye, some, uh, something, something like an, uh, a person. The, the funny thing is I cleared it and then it comes back. The person? I, yeah, I cleared the eye and it's 98%, it's fine. Then it comes back again. But so there's a person. It, Did you put the, does the person get out and then come back in? Is it this? It's in the it's in the opposite eye of the one that's infected, though. It's in the yeah. it's in it the might, right it eye. Might, it's it the might, left eye. It might be a memory from the person. Why would you do that?
I think I know what it is. Um, I haven't seen it before. It opts in, takes some soul energy, opts out, causes the infection, causes the vibration with the infection. So I don't think it's a good being that's been. I can't hear you. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's a good being. I don't think so either. You just send it to source. Quite powerful as well. Very, uh, she's very powerful, your daughter. Very angelic in her energy. Mm -hmm. Mm God. It, it fried by the way it wasn't good <laughs> it was att attracted your daughter's very very powerful it's got a big gift in there and she's older hmm. okay so it should be become good now hmm. what do you think Dad? Yeah, she is very powerful. It, does she do anything spiritual? Sometimes I make her interact a little bit in some of my stuff. <laughs> Yeah, she she could talk about protection on herself. So it's up to you if you want to tell her. What okay. exactly should she do? Oh, try and bring in energies to the auric field to stop the attack, any attacks like that. Because she's a beacon, she glows. You're going to get attacked when you glow. It's just part of the job. Uh, I'll upgrade the auric field. Does she talk about seeing things? No. Hmm. I'm I'm talking about angels, and I sometimes it mo was more before when she was about to sleep. Then I said she, she could uh, think about the color uh, to be able to fall asleep. She's an earth angel. Did she have any invisible friend when she was younger? Because sometimes we did. No. No. I did. Would anybody my was Dolman you... and he's not invisible to me. <laughs> Would anybody tell her that um, if she said that she saw angels or if she saw fairies? Would anybody she... else say to her that's impossible, they don't exist, or they're not real? Would be, there be anyone to tell her that? I don't know. Mm. Perhaps her friends. Because mm. I believe yeah. she she can see them very easily. Maybe because I know I'm, she I'm, likes I'm, to be out in nature. She likes beauty and creativity. Yeah. 
she's a, I, I believe a clairvo clairvoyant. Um, she's a very clairvoyant. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Can I have five minutes for me as well? Yeah. Yes. Um. Uh, so I want to get rid if there are any blocks of any kind that blocks me to. It's not really a block. You mean blockages? A block yes. would, would kill you. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when, when your chakra's a bit low, that's what it is. Yeah. I, I easily get nervous and worried about things in general. Well, if you do that, that's going to lower your vibration, which will then cause your chakras to be unaligned. And it's just a big circle. There's nothing, <laughs> there's no reason to um, lower your vibration and worry because we're infinite beings and everything we need will always be provided. We have to just put... Yeah. What we say, what we say is what we get. What we think is what we receive. So we have to always think and say what we want to happen to us. So what you put out in the universe is what you're going to get back. So I'm mostly worried about what people uh, should think about me and perceive me and uh, how to behave around people. And so why? Th this card yeah. is saying, this card saying, let it all go. It's not doing you any good. It doesn't even matter, but it's making you... So let your troubles go. All, all this overthinking from the brain, let it all go. Yeah, it's not me. Why, why do you care what people think? Why is that important? Only your inner child. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, only your inner child have more fun. Oh, it's an extra do they, card. Do, the, do these people pay your bills? No. Then why does it matter what they think? It doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> they still care. <laughs> but what, if that's important to you, what they if you care what they think and they don't pay your bills, they don't buy you food and they don't take care of your children. No. Uh, so you give, you give them too much worth in your life. Yeah, that but that's up to you. If you want to give them all that, you want to give them that valuable thing is your reputation. You you care? See, I don't care. <laughs> that never, I never cared what they thought about me. No, don't, I don't care how many people follow me on Facebook. I don't care. <laughs> that's not important to me. I only care about my children, my family, and my vibration. I care that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I care that I can that that I'll be able to help you and help humanity. The rest of it, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Don't care. As long as I have love in my heart and I stay in my heart space and stop overthinking things. You're an overthinker. Don't be a overthinker. Think of think of your children. Think of of great things and be and all the things you're thankful for. And stop worrying about what people think about you. That's a waste of time, waste yeah. of energy. You have so many things to be thankful for. You have the beautiful daughter, such a beautiful child. What a glorious gift that is. To do the cards, you got four. Right on. Uh, to honor your inner child, uh, connect with your inner child, get the magic of being a child. Okay? So become that child with it and have a, a break, have an holiday, no matter where it is, local, whatever. And that will, that will, that will give harmony to you, balance. Yeah. What is your name? What is your name here? Oh, Maria. Yeah. Um, Archangel Michael said to let you know that you're one of his angels and that your name, your angelic name is Teresa. And he says, he says that um, he misses you and he can't wait until you come home. 
Mm -hmm. Now, do you believe that? Yes. He says, why do you care what your neighbor thinks of you? <laughs> yeah. By the way, Deb, this card says, let your troubles go. Don't let your troubles go. It. You're hanging on to them. Let them go. He says, your, your friends are all your, your guides and angels, all your friends. And they're all sitting here wondering, when are you going to call on us? Mikkel, I don't know how to say this. Is it Mikkel, Michel, Mikkel, Michel is a, is a male. It's not Michael, is it? <laughs> it is, but it, it is, but it's one of her angels, not Michael, the archangel. Um, and then you have a Stephanie and a Boyd. His name is B-O-Y-D, Boyd, and a Stephen. They're all very close to you. You've known them for many oh, e eons, millennia, millennia. They're your friends and they're your guides and a couple of guides and angels that have been with you since you started this journey on earth. The Michelle for male is Michael. Okay. Michael. Yeah. That is how they pronounce it here. Michelle. <laughs> it's hard for me to say because I was trying. They're, they're yeah. trying to give me the spelling. Mm. But those are, that's a little that's a little hint for you on how on who you have. Mm -hmm. You have many. Does that help? A little. <laughs> <laughs> Be your true self. Don't just yeah, think about others' self. reactions. Be your true self, because that's what mm -hmm. we should do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get out but of here. I, I, I'm, I'm most afraid that, because I know who I am, and I am my inner child very much. Most, yeah. Not as much as I would like to, because I'm afraid people should think I'm childish, or that there's something wrong with me. Like, I'm not... Does it matter? No, no. <laughs> Does it really matter? If I'm like, I want but, to skip, skip on the, skipping on the streets and dancing outside, and it, people would think I'm it, crazy, and I'm you, afraid about my children. What would their uh, friends and friends' parents think about me? Overthinking it, plus the fact if you think about, you're accepting it. You're you're giving energy to what they think. Yeah. Give energy to what they think. Yes. But if you're I've doing been, it with I've been your children, I've been crazy all my life. I don't care. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I wish it was that easy for me. We just laugh about things that, you know, and as I get older, the the more things that I that I do that I forget or I make a mistake, and we all just laugh about it. I don't care what people think. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Yeah. If I want to skip, yeah. I'm going to skip. <laughs> yeah. If I want to dance down the street, yeah. I'm going to dance down the street. Yeah. Can, can, we, can, can I, I watch dance me? on the street? Me yeah. Too. <laughs> I and dance. Are going you going to do a live? When he drives away, <laughs> I'm dancing. <laughs> Um, are, you, are you going to do a live for us on the street dancing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. One time somebody even catch me and he was laughing because I was running after the cat of the neighbors. and he, It was jumping and I was also jumping. <laughs> and he was laughing. <laughs> okay. do, do, do you know, <laughs> I moved to a posh, posh area some years ago. And I was chasing my wife up the street on rollerblades with a, one of them bazooka water pistols. And I asked me. <laughs> okay, time is out. We are going. Okay. Let's finish. Thanks, Thank Maria. you very much, Maria. Thank you. I have to stop my timer. And we are going to Leslie Ann. Hello, Leslie. Hello. 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 Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. 
I'm saying I don't have a specific question, um, but I was hoping that you could tell me if there were any attachments or anything that I need to deal with. Okay. Don't see and I don't feel any attachments. No. Thank you. Have you got a bit of a bad back now and again? Now and again, yes. Yeah. Feel that. You might feel a bit of warmth on your back. Or frequency maybe. It's normally when you have a stress. When you stress, it's feeding your back. Your back's weak. Aren't it? Can you feel that? I do feel that. Which is really cool because I often don't feel <laughs> the thing. I, you know, I just mm. trust. <laughs> So back pain is a bit of a recent thing. Um, I'm hearing a lot about people with kidney issues. So I was a little bit concerned about that. I don't have any symptoms of that, but. Sometimes what you it think. Was, it would be on the sides of your back. It wouldn't be right on the spine area. But, but okay. overthinking it can manifest it. Remember that. Yeah. Right. How do you feel? I feel a little vibrating down my spine, which <laughs> is good. <laughs> yeah. I did three so cards. Philip did his energy, and then the Creator did some rewiring of some of your nerves in the back. Awesome. Right. The cards are saying let's celebration. You're you're going to have a change on your journey. Um, but you've got to set some intentions, some goals, and it's got new love. Now this could be divine love. So it might be a new friend or it might be divine love. I'm Can you sure. repeat that? I can't, couldn't hear that. All three. I'll do all three again. Okay. Celebration because your journey's changing. Yeah. But to change, you've got to set a goal, set, set intention, a new goal. And You've got new love, which could be a friend or it could be just divine love. So I, the guy doesn't really tell me one way or the other. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You got no. You got no. Your house is clear as well. Everything's clear. Thank oh, you. wonderful! I appreciate that. Okay. But Bob, my uh, spiritual friend, who eats, uh, eats. Parasites is not happy. He wanted something to eat. <laughs> he, oh. he, he eats them. So, so parasite. So I don't eat. have to be concerned about parasites. Spiritual right. parasites. Right. Spiritual. Spiritual. Parasite. Okay. Because I I've been doing the other parasite, the physical parasite cleanse yeah. thing too. It's, it's, it's probably the best thing you can do. I have moringa borax and uh, lion's mane to clear moles, uh, fungi, and parasites. Yes. So moringa is that just a capsule that you can get? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then you said I, I don't really know. I mean, I have borax, but I haven't used it for health. I know that you can. Yeah. But you just put some in water. Or? You 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 put a pinch like in your cup of tea. Or, I mean, okay. like a couple of little tiny crystals. Just a tiny bit. So, yeah. so send me a message. I'll send you a poster. 
and I'll send you okay. a video. Uh, someone yeah. written a video how you use it. So what we have, we have the uh, quick way, really, but you're supposed to have two litres of water with a quarter of a teaspoon of borax in. Yeah. But uh, okay. I can't drink two litres of water in a day. Uh, <laughs> I can, I can, but um, I've just done it really quickly now because it's just easier for me. But it borax or boron used to be in our water until they replaced it with fluoride. So to we kill used us, to yeah. Naturally in our water. Okay. Which was very good for us. But um, you know, and borax in, in the sixties clears... they started putting fluoride in our water. Yeah. yeah. Guess what guess what borax shifts? And this is a fact in case fat chickens. Fluoride. <laughs> Irony. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Chloride. It removes really fluoride in all the um stuff that goes in the sky okay that's awesome because i've been seeing a lot of that overhead lately yeah, it, it also gets rid of nano calcium particles okay so uh, was there a third thing you said philip yeah you said, lion's mane lion's, lion's mane. mane lion's okay. mane yeah what the, what mushroom. the, what the uh, lab uh, scientists have seen when people got dementia they die they cut the brain and it's a lot of them have got fungi on and lion's mane gets rid of fungi molds. Okay. So they, believe, they believe it. It could be a link between mold and dementia, but only could be. But yes. Lion's mane gets rid of it anyway. But you do you think clearer after you do think. Okay. Yeah. That's perfect. I'm going to the health food store today, so I've got a, I've got a list started already. I'll add that to it. <laughs> yeah. The, the okay. other one the other one allegedly is good for you is nicotine cure. Lethal yeah, I've been seeing some there. of that. It seems yeah. like it, it's a little uh, up they, in they the air as to... Yeah, they, they've demonized a, a plant medicine. That's what they've done. By adding Absolutely. Yeah. Well, they do that a lot. So lion's mane, I'll add that to my, my list, my shopping list. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate Thank it. You. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Leslie Ann. Thank you. Now we go to Teresa. Can I just go off a minute because my dog's annoying? Okay. <laughs> huh? Okay. Good because I want to go potty. Okay. A little potty break. And then Teresa will get right with you. Yep. There you are. Oh. 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 Yeah. I know Victoria, Victoria, you can hear me. <laughs> I know that Victoria. No. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, the seeds, especially the seeds. Ah, I know it. It's um, in pa powder. Oh, what the? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 I think I've got a dog that's got dementia. He doesn't know what he's eating. But all dogs are like that, aren't they?
Okay. All right. Is that? Hi, Teresa, you're on mute. Okay. Still on mute. Hi. Teresa, hello. Hi. Hi. What kind of healing did you need? Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know if you could do a scan. Yeah, we can. What's going on with your head? I have a lot of childhood trauma that for some reason is coming up now. I don't know if you can clear that or not. Were you abused by your father? Was yes. And my mother stood behind him. Well, well I can't. Oh, God. Go on, Deb, sorry. Oh, sorry. Are you, um, in order for us to help you, you have to be ready to say that you forgive him. I, I believe I have. You got Good. to give him both. Yep. So, and that's uh, and that's also just for you to heal. Right. That's um, not, go ahead. You, you've, you've got to forgive yourself for holding on to it. Okay. I know it sounds wrong, but once you do that, you're breaking it. You're stopping the cycle. Uh, your cards are very good, by the way. The other thing I can do, I can go in your timeline, connect with your inner, your child of that. You're about, you're about six or seven, was it? Mm, when three, you can remember. three or four. You were four years old. Three, three or four. Right. So I'll go to your three-year-old child in your timeline. I'll give yourself a big hug and say, there's a support team with you. And let's let's start that. But then you've got to... You've been trying for a few years, haven't you? Yeah. It's not, it's not true. It's coming out because your spiritual team is letting it out. Because it's got to be released. That's why it's coming out. It needs releasing. Yes. You have two Native American guides, and they're both female. They're on either side of you right now. They've actually been with you your whole life. You've had many lifetimes as a Native American. Is that why I always felt connected to Indians? Yes. We're in, we're in your timeline. We're, we're trying to help you ch in a child. It's like an invisible friend in, in there. You probably won't even remember. As I'm doing it, I'm sending uh, emerald energy into your heart chakra to make your heart chakra like a big emerald. So you might one of your guides, 
I'm sorry, Phil. I'm so no, sorry. sorry. I'll finish then. One of your guides is Pocahontas. Yes, the, the Pocahontas. The other one is... Translate her name translates to flower of the light. It's a yellow flower. That's but it's it's an in native name that's yellow flower, but it translates to flower of the light. My father gave me a nickname of Tinkty Tonkty. It's supposed to be some Indian thing. I don't really know what it means. They both want you to know that they're always with you. You should talk to them anytime and communicate with them. They've always been with you. When you were a little girl, you used to talk to them. You used to, you used to see them. You have many other guides always as well, but these two are your closest. Can you feel that energy, by the way, Teresa? Yeah, feel it right here, my heart. Yeah. Are you near horses? Yeah. I don't know, can you see her? I can feel the energy. Yeah, they're right next to me. I'm outside with my horses. I'm yeah, my favorite I think, animal. I think the horses are saying hello to us. Hey, Rusty, look. Can you see him? There. Yeah. Yeah, you see that? Also, girl. Sorry. Don't sorry. be sorry. Are you kidding? <laughs> That's my favorite vibration right there. I could feel the energy before I even heard him. <laughs> <laughs> We were saying hello to you, definitely. Mm. By the way, your, your cards were your prayers are being answered. Remember to ask your support team for help when you need to help. Ask them for help. And after, once once all this is over, you, you gain spiritual growth. Thank you. Well, how are you feeling? Better. What, what density has been released there? Yeah. Especially on your back. If, yeah. you, if, you, if you want to send a message on Facebook, I'll send you a couple of videos that I think would help. Okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I have ulcerative colitis, which they say might be from my abuse of a childhood, but yeah. who knows? So yeah, send us the uh, send us send us a message on Facebook. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, then we go next. Thank you, Teresa. You're you're finished. Okay, yes. thank you. You're so done. Much. You're done. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not listening. I only hear thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, and um, we now go to Jillian. Oh, what who? But there's a CM. Who is CM? CM.
We have Pittsburgh in the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we built the game here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to ask for continued healing in my lip. And hey, let's turn that uh, next to down. And uh, just removal from any blockages or anything you see. Um, here's my lip. Mm, sucks still. Okay. Snake lips, you know. And um, and Chris is here too. If you uh, get any cooties off of him. Hi, Chris. <clears throat> There's something in the house. Have you felt a change in the energy of the house? Because I feel something in the house. Uh, yeah. I always cleanse it like this. And then I started plastering over the walls in the basement. That yeah. had the pieces too. <laughs> and he's like putting like a crack or whatever, but yeah. There's something. Let me try it. It's hiding. It's getting, I'm getting a really bad headache. There's something there. I think it's like a, one of those bright things. Being, they look like little tiny demon characters. Looks like that. <laughs> like a little tiny. <laughs> Uh, like a demon, but it's not. It's, it's, your your broadband's open. Really. What? It's, open. it's your place. It's, it's. Are you on a phone? Yeah. Yeah. It's something screwing with your phone because it, it's cutting us off. Yeah, I'm. My reception's not the best here, but I'm pretty sure. That like I'm over a vortex or a vortex that I had opened before a while ago. So I think that messes things up. Yeah, well you got a little demon. I think yeah. there's more than one they feel. Yeah, it's certainly a little jumpy tricks to like sprite being. Yeah. Do you want to keep I them? I don't know. You might you, you might want to keep them, Julian. I know what you like. <laughs> <laughs> Play with them. If he'll do some chores. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a dream about like, there was like a, tr a black troll or something. He was really small. And then I w he was like causing trouble in the house. But then I like, I was about to kick his ass. But then I like looked at him and I just gave him a hug. And I was like, I'm sorry for what you went through. <laughs> it was an interesting dream. But then Mother Mary appeared like where he was. And then like a, a white being in front of her. It was interesting.
They had a, um, they were coming through the basement too. Interesting portal. They were dead out. <laughs> the inv went invisible and shape shifted so it went somewhere else. Yeah. And we got rid of them, sent them in an hour for Unless you wanted them back. <laughs> Man, I'm good. I'm sick of repainting that wall. <laughs> I swear I was plastering over and I'm still doing it in layers and like more faces show up. And I'm like, what the heck? But thank you. You feel like Ailey? Mm hmm. Head's feeling better. Uh, connect. Uh, you're probably already connected, but connect with your inner child a bit more. Are you sure about send, that? <laughs> sending, <laughs> they're sending you messages. Listen, start listening, and listen during in nature. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. oh. Have you tried Celtic salt? I've been doing a lot of stuff with sea salt lately. Try the Celtic. Celtic? All right. All right, yeah, I'll get some of that. For sure. Instead of the, um, it's got 82 minerals in it. Sea salt doesn't. Okay, I'll order it. I have I have Himalayan salt. Some people allegedly say it's to do with giants, but I don't care. So I still love it. I got some of that too, yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, well. Oh, and I won my court case, so those I'm very happy for you. Defeated the dark Mike or dark Mar Archangel Michael. <laughs> That's good. So, silly. But yeah. Well thank you. You're welcome. Blessings to you and the group. And um if you don't mind just taking a gander at Chris. Yeah. Okay, Chris. I'm gandering. He's got some little bastard blockages, but here you go. <laughs> All right. He got a spider. He's got a spider on his spine at the very right above his root chakra. And quickly I can see that. He's got one at the top of his spine. Yeah. His you, have a, you have a bad back. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> You'll so see he's got, one at, he's got one above, just above the root, and he's got one at the top of his neck. Um, the top, one at the top of his neck is like the hairy spider. The one at the bottom is like a little spider. Like the baby. Chris got hit by a car. But he's okay. You did? Yeah. Yeah. When? I was on, I was on a bike. A car hit me. And uh yeah, it wasn't very fun. But yeah. When was that? Uh that was like the middle of July. Yeah. What what happens when, when you get an injury like that it can break your lower field and these little bugs spiritual parasites? You might you might not even feel it now, but, but you will later. So you might feel a bit of warmth and us getting rid of it. Something going on in your stomach. What's going on with your stomach? 
I, I can't remember so much Jurassic Park stuff. I'd say so. Mm -hmm. eh, pretty keen. Have you been having having stomach trouble? Um. Yeah, I'd say yeah. so. Yeah. You feel the energy? Or no. So. Its intestines yeah. and his stomach are uh, inflamed. Yeah, I'd recommend like everything. Like moringa helps helps uh, help the ingestion system. Definitely moringa. Yeah, too much actually. It helps it. Also balances the blood, which is good. You may feel like warm water going through you. That's um, just a... Even though you, you haven't got a bad back, I can feel pain with your energy coming off your back. So that was, that was an injury waiting to happen. Hmm. Uh, like you, you can't, you start, you can't take care of your body, physical body. Yeah? Right. Connect with the inner child, have some fun. You're jillying around, you know, life will get fun. And uh, balance. Balance. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, How do you feel? A bit better. I do feel much better. Yeah. yeah. Good. I would suggest Moringa, definitely. Yeah. I, would suggest I have some powder. Well. It's good in lemonade too. I know it's disgusting, but sometimes lemonade. No, the whole actually the whole tree. But we have my granddaughter bought a tree. Oh, cool. And again, eventually the whole tree is actually usable. Nice. I wouldn't recommend it in lemonade, though. I mean, you can drink it, but it's pretty unbearable in the powder, but it's, I mean, <laughs> you can kind of put a little bit in and bear it to take it or whatever, but it's, yeah, it's pretty nasty. Yeah, you could, you could smoke it, I suppose. <laughs> Don't give them any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, yeah. I want to say okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Bye, Jake. Bye, Deb. Yeah, bye, you. Rick. Bye, Phil. Yeah, bye, I, 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 know you, it's, bye. I know it's Moringa in three days was changing me. Next okay. one is Dan, Dana, by the way. Dana. Yeah, bye. Hey, bye. how are you? Hi. Hi, Dan. Hey, yeah. how are you? Good. Today was uh, quite a big challenge of getting hooked up with you guys. My daughter, she's in um, college, and she had a college soccer game. And it was at the same time. But she's been struggling and kind of stressing me out over the phone. So I chose to, um, you know, work with you guys first for the first half of her game. Um, but the PayPal wouldn't work. So for an hour, I don't know if you've ever, this has ever happened to you, but when I try to log on, you know, I'm getting older, but I still use I call them my goggles with my reading glasses. But the challenge questions, like the challenge things of pick the 
images in the squares. So it was a whole hour, whole hour. Oh and I'm like, can't be this bad. So I called my son who's 24. I'm like, can you please do this puzzle? And so, you know, he oh, tried. Puzzles are for really like, bad. <laughs> he tried for 10 minutes. So I was like in this loop, this continuous loop. But I guess it just wasn't, I my energy was needed for her game. So after an hour, and I, trust me, I don't give up easy, whole hour, right? <laughs> um, I went outside and I'm like, okay, so I watched her game for the half and I, I saw that my energy was needed there. So <laughs> it was so funny. Anyway, yep, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, but by the way, Deb, Deb, she's got the 15 minute one, at least. You paid a bit more, so you can get more. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've done your cards first anyway. You've got connect with music, frequency. Archangel be at Michael's behind you. And you've got abundance of either wealth or spiritual growth. Normally okay. spiritual growth, but um, you know. <sighs> Is there anything specific or well the last time I connect with you guys? It was the big mirror issue, if you can remember. <laughs> <laughs> the mirrors face at each other. Um, so, you know, I put the coverings over and I've been doing a lot of work with um, David Starr and his Heart Alliance group and kind of anchoring into free consciousness. And, you know, I'm just not, I'm really trying not to let entities in. I'm, I'm trying to keep everything high and we still are really careful with the mirrors. <laughs> um, but I put it put a crucifix there too in between the mirrors. Um, and I just don't feel like that negative energy in there anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've been doing a lot of work with David um and um some other folks. And um I guess like over the last eight months, I've um encountered like an ET visit. Um, you know, I don't think this is ever the first for me, but um, it was like very clear to me that I, you know, I have images. I took pictures the first time, but I don't think that they like me taking pictures. <laughs> so the second time I didn't take the pictures. Yeah. yeah did you say cheese? Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, I got faces. I'll have to send you. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I guess like all the work that I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of work and a lot of times like I feel amazing afterwards, like so amazing. Um, just like, I'm not even here in this crazy existence that we're in. Um, but then like, so easily it's like, I'm grabbed back down, you know, and just sucks it right out of me. And then it's like, I get back into this crazy human experience <laughs> with problems of my children. And I get too involved as an empath. I just suck up everyone's problems and take them on as my own. So I guess today I just was wondering if there's a way to um to like better connect with um my guides to help me and ground my energy be able to like be able to help people but not take on their emotions as my own <laughs> i mean that makes mind, sense so i get it yeah <laughs> and it's <laughs> like i feel it so much and i want to fix it because i don't want to feel bad anymore but I know they're not my feelings, but it's so hard for me to, to not even like, I go, I sit outside all the time in the sun. I love the sun and I'm always have, you know, a cup of yeah, water I, and the bugs I'm, always I, fly in. I was going to say, like, do, do, do a lot of grounding, but you just told me you do a lot of grounding. <laughs> yeah. So the it's bugs just... are always flying in my drinks and I'm like saving them. And sometimes I think they're dead and I do try to do healing on them. They come back to life. This is like, it's like, it's everything around me. Birds flying into my garage and I'm trying to help them get out. They don't know where to go. But it's like, I'm, I, no matter what I'm doing, I feel like I'm always giving all my energy to help. And I want to help. Like, I just want to help, but I don't want to feel a bug drowning in a water. How that feels. <laughs> well, you're you know exhausted. Saying? You're exhausted because you're, 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 they're, they're dragging you down with, because they're sucking the energy out of you. But you, <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, you're also doing it at night. So you're also, you know, that's oh, well, you're constantly tired. But I, 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 I want to tell you what I did. We bought grounding mats to sleep with. Did you, okay. do you have one? I don't. Where did you purchase them from? I'm afraid to Amazon. buy something fraud. Okay. Okay. All right. 
And I can tell you that I feel so much better because I sleep with a grounding mat. Okay. I can't tell you how many times it's gone through my head to do that. And I haven't done it yet. So, and you can even, you know, take it and put and when you're sitting and working, take yeah. it to work. I mean, I'm grounded all day at work. Take your shoes off. <laughs> you know? I never have shoes on. <laughs> you don't well, have to have shoes on. You can take them off and, yeah. and you're working it underneath your desk. But I'm telling you, I feel so much better. I sleep great with that grounding mat. I gotcha. sleep great. He doesn't sleep great ever because no. he's constantly got uh, father's energy, creator's energy going through him. But he, exactly. he's never slept great. All right. <laughs> well, what I'm being told, Donna, is create a sacred space in, in the spiritual realm and go in that space when you need grounding you know it could be near a river river would be best yes a crystal cave and create that sacred space so when you feel worn out go into the sacred space when you before you go to sleep yeah gotcha that's where you're going to go and you're going to get rest okay. and that's where okay. your energy is going to stay okay and if you want more energy you, to use the pillars of light, but each dimension has a pillar of light. If you cross it with a pillar of light, you keep on going into dimensions and you can go up to uh, all, all the way up if you want, but you can only hold so much energy. So you start in sort of five, six, seven D, and then you can just work yourself up and then bring that energy to your, your physical body. And that would be okay. Yeah. And when you've helped somebody, don't think about them all day long. Don't think about their. <laughs> Yeah. Get rid of it. It's not you're just yours. feeding them. You're just feeding them the energy. Yeah. yeah. You know, if their issue with they dump on you, my yeah. mother did this, my father did this, my children did this. Okay, so you listen to them. They asked you for advice. You gave them your advice. Yeah, get rid of it. <laughs> okay. Pop it up. Let okay. it go. Okay. A do a, go outside with your feet. Do what you do. No. I don't care if you have a glass of wine, sit outside, release it. It's not yours. That's their journey. It's not yeah. yours. I know. I know. I tell myself that I know it all. It's just hard to do, you know. It's, why is it hard to do? Is it your problem? Well, I guess for my children, I, it's like you feel well, like. That's, your that's different. Are they mine? Yeah. Are they, you know, still living with you? Yes. No, my daughter's in college, but um, she's not far, and she's very needy. <laughs> well, she's still, she's still, you, you, well, she's still in college. I mean, she's not yeah. like she's married and out. You know. Oh no 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 no. No, no she still, needs me. But yesterday she's like, I need you. I was as long as I try to take a mental break from it. She's like, I need yeah, you. I mean, but I mean, is it mundane? You know, come on. <laughs> is it really? Is it really that important? Is it just college crap, boy stuff? No, uh well i guess she, she plays very high level um sport and it's she's their last year in playing time and feeling that she's misunderstood and I, she's she's it's like like an empath too and she's she's well she said she felt like her head was going to explode but see i'm doing so much energy work that i hope that i'm not switching stuff that for up for them well then teach her how to get rid of her stuff too. I'm try yeah i do i'm trying i'm trying but you know, it's but like you can't, carry, you can't hold her stuff and your stuff. You can't. Yeah, yeah. And now, no trying. You can't. Yeah. This is not yours. She's and she actually is an adult. This is her last year. Yeah, she's twenty one. Yeah. But yeah, she's an adult. Yeah. It's not your shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, enough. No, she's not a baby. Right. It's, it, this is her. Listen to her and love her, but you can't carry her stuff anymore. Yeah. Oh, That's I backed really, off. Really I backed cool. off so much. From people that they're shocked <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it's it, that's uh this mm -hmm. is her journey yeah not yours so it is hard it is but once you start doing it you feel you realize how much of, of it you've been carrying mm -hmm. and yeah. it's it's well i'm really having like this it's like this neck and right shoulder and back and left hip and it's just all day long and I'm like you're carrying I'm to let it go. Else's yeah load. yeah it's awful heavy yeah but you, you well, won't get rid of it until you get rid of their crap yeah and you're carrying extra yeah. you're carrying luggage all the time it's yeah. exactly what you're doing you're it's all piled up so uh, take one at a time and 
dump it. Okay. I've just give, been given a message. Yeah. Uh, you, you beat me there. You beat me, Deb. I've given a message that the Emerald Order have said to me that you need a download. But can you heal her first because she needs healing? <laughs> and that's before you actually mentioned all these pains. So we, me and Deb and Rick can heal, give you healing, but you'll get a download if you want it. And of course. The Emerald, yeah. the Emerald Order, you know the Emerald Order had the convent to source to uh, first ascension to rescue the souls that are stuck here and to lift the earth's vibration. So it might be linked to that. I don't know what the download is. So, so are you ready? Yes. <laughs> oh, if you feel me, you will do anyway. Okay. You feel that? Yeah, lots of shifting. Um, kind of um, through all those aches. Um, it's just like a lot of um, uh, tension being released. Oh. I'm feeling a lot being lifted off. Like I'm feeling lighter. Yeah, all those boxes are being thrown away. <laughs> you probably get the download now. I swear, like I'm being lifted up. Oh. Like in my heart. My throat, my sacral is moving to my root, it's trying so hard to <laughs> work with my root. Ooh. Kind of moving up to my third eye, it seems like. Like my throat and throat and heart. Ooh. My third eye they're trying to work together, it seems. Oh. Yeah, yeah, our two have been upgraded as well, Danny. So we're going to my lower chakras, and really, I feel like my body straightening out some more and releasing a lot. And it's kind of trying to flow back up to the upper chakras now. Oh. 
He's really trying to reach the crown. <laughs> Hard. He's trying to reach the crown. Sort of kind of stuck between the throat and the crown, it seems like. Oof. Oh, feels like it's just about there. Uh, how are you feeling? Ooh. Good, good. Yeah, we, have to, we have to use your blueprints to release them up. Oh, in nature. Oh, Oh, I feel like everything's kind of lining up now. Yeah. Oh. Just kind of, it's been sort of lately working on releasing like just um, old toxic energy from traumas and like trying to connect to my spirit guides and trying to figure out where I'm from and connecting and um me trying to work in some light language that I've been trying to work on as well. Put your, put your two fingers like that. You, you, gotta go on, you gotta show us your head. <laughs> put your two fingers like that and go, and that's Arcturian and you've got an Arcturian aspect. I don't know if you're starseed, but you're definitely Arcturian. I'm trying to connect in there. Any light language coming out? No. No, not this time. <laughs> it should just flow naturally. You connected to dragons as well. It's just sort of the same stuff that I've been like since it's a child. Like it's sort of like this. Um, I'll I'll say it. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll do it now. Um, um. like that sort of thing that I've done since a child um the only other thing that I've been like repeating so much lately are these um um it's like bdb bdb b bdb bdb b bdb 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 it's sort of just like what I say to just all day long it's kind of strange I don't know um those are the sort of things that um that I have now. <laughs> yeah, the, the first one reminds me because I have got a, an aspect which I've never told anyone about a blue haven. Haven is it blue haven they called? Yeah, the I've been birds. told. I've yeah. been told that before. Mm -hmm. Blue haven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it reminded me, and uh, she doesn't work with me. She just watches me work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't know about the last one. It, it's a thousand light language. Thousand. Right. Yeah. More than that. Mm. I said thousands, so it could be Yeah, like thousands, yeah, you're right. Two um, million. <laughs> yeah. Two hundred thousand. Yeah, there's so You know many. what we mean, by the way. Yes, I do. Yeah. I do. So that's well connected to you. 
I do Actorian, I'm not really connected to that, but when I do that, I start doing it. Mm -hmm. But I don't really know what it means. I, I've got four light languages. I know the other three, mm -hmm. I don't know that one. I presume well, it's, it's the, um, the blue avian. Yeah, the blue avian, I've been told um, that, and um, my, um, um, my searing connection, they say. So when I took those photos, um, the, 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 the color was bl like a blue blue um yeah so i've been told this sort of things in the past mm -hmm. um maybe a connection to um uh, mount shasta i've been told in the past um mother mary um, archangel michael i think you had um, that on the card before didn't you yeah you, you've got extra blessings on the foot i've given you a photo card the angels are giving you extra blessings yeah, you got the Archangel Michael. Oh, anything in, <laughs> anything in the house, Deb, or any Paris rights or anything? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Right. No. No, the only thing is getting out of your head and uh, trusting that uh, it's all going to come together. With, in, in, it, let, just let it flow and just trust that it's just going to come through. Mm -hmm. I was in such a good zone yesterday and I got flipped out of it and then I was restless all night and then usually if I go to the tub if I can if I can see the the ship that's there that makes me feel better and I was trying to connect yes last night but it just wouldn't come and I was frustrated yeah don't get frustrated everything's um divine timing the way it's supposed to be if it's mm -hmm. not supposed to be it's not going to happen right there's no mistakes you, you've got a powerful download waiting to open up just do the work yeah. i think it's in your heart chakra by the way oh. i don't know what it's for it can be anything but it's, it's from the main it's the ones who, who, who are doing the main one we are because of them so you guys don't see any entities attached to me this time? <laughs> no. No. Okay, I don't good. Feel it. I don't feel it. You're aura feels upgraded as well. Try and stop you taking everyone's problems. Thank you. Yeah. Amazon will buy me. Dog parking. <laughs> Kids are in Jacksonville. Aww. They're out of town. Yeah. Love Florida, Florida right? Jacksonville. Yes. Yeah. That's I, right. love, I, I love. I love Florida. Florida now. I love Florida. Hmm. I would rather be in, back in Arizona, to be honest with you. But my kids are here, so we're here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I received so many downloads there. Um, I visited um, um, Epcot so much. And I've been able to like connect into the the original like I feel Walt Disney energy of what he wanted to create there and that magic and for a brief tears. Yeah. I don't think I'd I want to connect. I don't like, think I'd want to connect with him. Sorry. Tap, well, I can tap into like <laughs> the energy there and in different countries and like the music that I hear and like as I could walk through, it's so amazing. Um, I don't know. It's just really. Yeah, I suppose it is amazing because of all the fun that it brings people, but obviously it's got a dark side. I think that's what Deborah mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> it's like going through different countries. You hear like, well, you see all the culture and you hear like the music, and I just feel like I don't know, like Japan. I, it, yeah, I, I, music I, is just so. Yeah. I've been there you know, a few times. I've been there yeah, times. it's so relaxing, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I love the sun. The sun's like. My best friend. <laughs> so, I love the sun. I so haven't. Been, I've, I've I've never been to Epcot. We've lived in Florida for a long time, and when, before we moved to Arizona, 27, 28 years ago. But Epcot, the last time we went to Disney, Epcot wasn't done yet. My kids are in their fifties. You can see that. Yeah. What? Yeah. You don't like you're fifty. I'll be seventy in this. <laughs> oh month. my gosh! Get out of here! You look amazing. Few more days. I would never guess more, that. Few more days, thanks, honey. 
<laughs> but you guys need to visit Epcot. You really do. Like just feel into the energy uh, I don't and know the music as you go through the countries. <laughs> the countries and the music, it's worth it. And the food. All you try all the different food in the areas, it's so good. Yeah. I was yeah. whatever. When I was there, I had a canetizer from the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Just to feel home again. Anyway, and fish and chips. Um, I actually had the UK. Oh, I love the fish and chips there, yeah. I get the yeah. fish and chips every time. I'd rather have it in the real UK. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there four times. Okay, so we have Sophie and G George. Thank you, Donna. Thank okay, you. thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Lily had to leave to go have uh, coffee with their husband. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so who's, who's go, is who's Sophie left? going on first? On Sophie or, or George? Doesn't matter. Or Geo. Is it Geo or George? Whoever wants to go on, light up and you're up. <laughs> Hello? Ooh. Going once, <laughs> going twice. And we have Geo. Look at that, how beautiful. Geo? That's been going over the UK recently. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yep. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I was just flossing my teeth, so I was like, <laughs> I do want to like. <laughs> Hello. I was, I, was, I was hoping that Sophie would go on, but um, yeah, I can go first. How can we help? Um, I just jumped in, to be honest. I don't really have anything in particular. Um, yeah. I've been doing a lot of shadow work recently, a lot of deep dives. Um, I had a healing session with someone, and she said that I got abducted, and I've been kind of looking into that. Because I can't remember the first like four years of my life. Like I have a memory of where I was just staring at the moon in the house I was in. And I remember I used to play like uh, Crash Bandicoot on my PlayStation. And I used to like run downstairs really scared. And then I'd run upstairs again. And I was always like really like timid as a child and like super shy. And there were times where like, I'd like hide under tables and stuff if there was like family members coming over. I was like super scared, but yeah. I I don't see that. I see you as a walk-in. Oh, okay. I don't see you as abducted. Maybe yeah. maybe yeah, she yeah. sees maybe she understood the message incorrectly, but I see you as uh, the same as Phil. But but you oh, okay. probably at four. Yeah, normally walking's about four. four or five year old. Yeah, you were four. Um, oh, okay. What do you do spiritually? Do you do anything spiritually? I've just been healing myself. Um, yeah, I don't do any sort of like spiritual business or anything like that. I mean, I've made loads of YouTubes and stuff over the years, but then I noticed my shadow was coming out so much and I stopped it because I knew that I was going down a road that I should be going down. That was like... I could just, I could just see it, and I was like, "No, that's not the person I want to be." <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah walking tends to be. Uh, I've walked in to, so we haven't got codes, keep the codes, but it can be a rough journey. If you get what I mean, and uh, this yeah, time, it's yeah, been a, rough. A, a signed by the <laughs> Emerald Order, and you don't get a, a goodish life because uh, we tend to pick areas or places where we need to heal, heal that area. Yeah. 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 You can't, by the way. New beginnings. If you got a new, new goal, new hobby, or whatever. Trust the messages. You probably get messages, and you try and dismiss them. Uh, and a truth and integrity. That's basically saying, if you ever make mistakes, send it to the angels, send it to source. He don't make them again. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. should we do, give you some healing? What do you think? Yes, please, if it's available. Yeah. yeah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> try, try and see if there's any downloads. <laughs> yeah, if you're walking, you might need some downloads to help in the path. Sometimes people can go too much in each other. Yeah. Archangel Michael's. Archangel Michael's laughing. 
<laughs> He's saying, great, another one like you. <laughs> talking about uh, Phil. Man, you know, talking uh, about uh, Phil. <laughs> because I saved Michael too many times. <laughs> He's choking around with Phil. Uh, He says, you're nicer than Phil is. You're kinder than Phil is. <laughs> Phil, he says, um, Phil's the he said, don't be like him. Phil's the class clown. <laughs> <laughs> Michael just needs healing. <laughs> By the way, the, the angels like a good laugh, so. Yeah, they do. They're not serious. They're not serious at all. It's good that you uh, you heal. You do healing, so that's you already know your power. Yeah, this year has been crazy. Yeah. Uh, the, I went kind of well. The way I saw it was like an initiation to this healer who I could feel things and I was questioning myself about what I was feeling, but yeah, it turned out pretty grim and gross. If you get out but, of yeah. here and into your heart and start trusting all the messages, you'd be amazed at all the things that open up for you. So if you stop over analyzing and get, get out of your ego, it's crazy good. <laughs> mm. We you start talking ourselves out of it. And, yeah, if and you, if you can find a, a sound healing place, mm. that'll be good. That'll open the world. Yeah. In the UK mm. or US? I don't know. UK. UK. Whereabouts? Bristol. Bristol. I just look for sound healing places. There's a lot in the UK. Bristol's nice. Yeah. I've been mm. there. He's not too bad. He's on he's on the west coast. Yeah, you feel that energy, by the way. I've been feeling my heart's a little bit like yeah. tense. But I've just had a long day at work in a kitchen, so I'm trying, yeah, I'm, to really to I'm trying to make your art, art chakra. Yeah, it's like an emerald, so I'm trying to make it bigger, brighter, let it glow. Do you feel anything like warm water? I'm trying to do creator's energy down through your head, your crown chakra. Mm. It's actually coming from my husband. He's got the energy. I'm just, I just see it. Some energy being released in your back. You find very did you have a pain in your back now? Yeah, yeah. I get back pain every now and again. It pops up and it's yeah. been popping up again. How do you feel? A lot more relaxed. 
Yeah. What I'd advise you is try and find an aspect of you, of your over soul, of a past life, to try and connect with it, partly merge with it. Yeah. That's what I do, and that'll, that'll, upg that'll upgrade your spirituality a lot. Yeah. Is there anything else? I didn't feel any entities or anything. Mm -hmm. no. You didn't no. have any part of that implant, right? Oh. Drink a lot of water. This energy stays with you for seven days. Keeps okay. keep healing Thanks. and healing. You'll feel better and better. Mm. Okay, I think we're done, except for Sophie, who's hiding. Thank you. you won't say hello to that. No, I am just I was just watching <laughs> the show. <laughs> Thanks, Gio. Yeah, I was just watching the show. I thought I can chat later with you guys. Hi, Sophie. Hi, hi. I'll, I'll put it back. I'll put it back on mute. Okay, so do you want um do you want us to, to sign off and then do do you need any healings? Sophie? Uh, yeah, I thought I could do with a scan, please, if that's okay. Yeah. Okay, sure. Thank you very much. Okay. Is it the end of the show? It is. Do you want us to sign off and, and then do it, Sophie? Oh, yeah. yes, because you had a few people on. I don't know if that's um, okay. you guys. Then that's, um... Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. We just grab and we will see you guys next closing month. Closing the space. remember to drink Thanks, a lot of water and uh and uh take care of yourself we will see you guys next month take care love Bye. you guys Bye. <sighs>